Welcome back at 651. The Toma Fire Department is releasing new details on a structure fire that displaced 10 people over the weekend. Firefighters say they responded to a call of a heavy fire coming from a window above the Peking Chinese restaurant on Superior Avenue just before 8 a.m. Saturday. Officers from the Toma Police Department were the first to arrive to the scene and helped evacuate everyone inside the building. Officials say 47 firefighters from the Toma, Oakdale, Fort McCoy and Vokefield Fire Departments battled the blaze for roughly 11 hours. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. Happening today, the La Crosse Common Council will meet at noon to discuss the city's lawsuit against PFAS manufacturers. The first thing expected to come up at the meeting is the allocation of roughly $45,000 worth of legal fees associated with the lawsuit. The second thing on the agenda will discuss what the next steps will be in the city's class action lawsuit against PFAS manufacturers. Today's meeting will be held in the Miller Room of La Crosse City Hall. A staple of La Crosse's South Side is closing. Schmidt's Bar and Restaurant announced in a Facebook post it'll close after 68 and a half years of business. The restaurant is set to close on January 1st of 2024. The post says the restaurant is for sale, but there was no explanation given for the decision. The nation will be on the move this holiday season. Train travelers on the east side of Wisconsin could soon have a new option to get to the Twin Cities. WizDOT says Amtrak is planning to open a second daily round trip passenger train next year, going back and forth between the Twin Cities, Milwaukee and Chicago. The new route would only travel the 411 miles between those cities, a seven and a half hour trip. WizDOT says more than 70% of people at Wisconsin stations are traveling to stops on that route. It's definitely something I think a lot of people and myself included would probably be interested in. More than 124,000 people are expected to ride the new route in its first year of service. The goal of the new line is to limit delays and provide more reliable trains, sharing tracks with Amtrak's existing Empire Builder route between Chicago and the Pacific Northwest. As the road conditions get worse as we head closer to winter, it's important to be extra cautious when you're driving to look out for deer. According to an official with Wisconsin's DOT, drivers are expected to hit as many deer this year as they have in the last three years. But data from Wisconsin's DNR shows overall car deer accidents have been on the decline recently. The DNR says most car deer collisions happen in October and November. That's when deer are most active during their breeding phase. Driving slow at night and scanning the roadside can help prevent you from hitting a deer. Now that Thanksgiving is over, many families have started to deck the halls and finding their perfect Christmas tree is on that list. Families flock to Snowy Ridge Christmas Tree Farm over the holiday weekend. In addition to pre-cut trees, you can also cut down your own tree at the farm and participate in a number of activities for the whole family. For me personally, we've been doing this for close to 30 years. So now children that were little when we started are coming with their children. And uh, I almost get emotional thinking about that because they always come up and I get a hug and thanks for doing this. And you know, this is our family tradition is what I hear a lot. That's my favorite part. She went on to say that in some years they sell out in a couple of weekends, but this year they plan to stay open until Christmas Eve. And as you head out the door this morning, keep in mind it is not only cold, but we're also got some slick road that's out there in some spots from the snow that happened over the weekend, uh, turning to ice here as well. Temperatures are into the low 20s this afternoon under a mix of clouds and sun. Very chilly thanks to that west northwest breeze today. Your eight day forecast showing highs will be into the 20s again tomorrow. Mostly cloudy though, mostly sunny returns on Wednesday with highs into the 40s, not just Wednesday, but also into the day on Thursday. And we're looking at highs dropping into the 30s by Friday and Saturday are lows into the 20s. Yeah, I know that 40 looks yeah. so good <laughs> compared to what we're feeling exactly, right now. Exactly, right? Yeah. yeah, we'll take 40s any day of the yeah, week. Yeah, for sure. So <laughs> be sure to bundle up as you're heading out the door this morning. Definitely. All right, thank you, Derek, and thank you for joining us this morning. We will see you back here at noon. Have a great day.